Hey GearHeads, Nate here from the tech support team and today we're doing a video on our brand new updated overhauled BG Control PTZ Control app. This can be downloaded straight from our website for Windows, Mac, and the iOS software like iPads and iPhones. Um, this is a great software to control your camera if you don't have a joystick or access to um, the, the web browser. This is a great software to just uh, do some presets, do some uh, auto-focusing and just kind of easily control your camera and it's free for you, uh, the camera user. So a couple things to know about this, uh, a couple key features and important features that you need to get this going is one is the serial number. You can find that on the bottom of the box or the bottom of the camera because this app does not work with any other camera except for ours. And so you have to make sure you have that serial number good to go. Second is the IP address of the camera. The app will not talk to the camera unless the IP addresses are connecting. And so wanna make sure that the camera's IP address is on your local network. You could go ahead and check out some videos on the top here uh, to how to do that. So once you got your camera onto your local network, come back to us and we'll dive into this brand new app. As you can see, I have the application already downloaded on our computer. So let's go ahead and open it up. Give it a sec. There you go, there it is. Uh, so first thing we wanna do is add our cameras into here. So go ahead and click on this icon up here and you're gonna hit this plus sign and it's gonna give you the list of everything you need to fill in. First is your title. We're gonna label this camera one and then our IP address is gonna be 192.168.40. This is for our local network.152. Serial number, this is for this camera only. And then username and password are gonna be both admin lowercase, A-D-M-I-N, A-D-M-I-N. And a cool feature here is you can actually set the, it says max speed setting, this is the PT speed of the camera. So when you're moving the camera around, you can set that speed out of the, out of the box, out of the gates uh, pretty easily here. So hit okay. Boom, there's our first camera. And then I'm gonna add another camera. The two cameras that we're actually using today is one, camera one is our BG UPDZ 30X zoom camera. And our second camera is our BG VPDZ 10 HSU camera. So two different cameras, great with quality, great zoom. And so we're gonna add our second camera here. We'll say camera two, IP address 168.0. Thirty. I'm sorry, 140.153, serial number, which is a different one. Cannot use the same one. Admin, admin, oh, there we go. Okay, so we got two cameras added, camera one and camera two. And so to get the preview window open, all you gotta do is click on the little switches here for each camera and boom, there's camera one, our BG UPDZ, and our camera two is our BG VPDZ. And you can see our awesome camera guy, Matt, there helping us out today. Thank you, Matt. And so I'm gonna close this window and just go over using the BG UPDZ for now and kind of go over the, some of the features that this offers. So as you can see, you can easily pan and tilt easily here. If it's too slow for you, you can adjust the, the max cam speed over here. You can turn it down, turn it up. And what I like to do is kind of if you move the joystick further over, it goes faster. Or if you move it over so slightly, it goes a little slower. So you can actually cut control the pan speed pretty easily just by doing that. And there you go. And then if the biggest feature of this op application is the presets. So let's go ahead and set a preset here. Let's do our, oop, going a little fast there. Let's adjust that. And we're gonna do the logo and we can do is also we have our zoom here so just click on zoom and toggle it up and there we go 
and that's going to be our preset. And so when you're setting a preset, you can actually adjust the pan, pan and tilt speed for the preset when it moves to that back to that preset. So I'm actually going to put it right in the middle so it's not too fast, not too slow. Hit OK. I'm going to call this one our logo. Hit OK. And it'll pop up down here for that camera. So I'm going to put the camera back in the home position. As you see here, we have a home button. And it puts the camera right back in its home position. If I don't want to go to that logo, just go ahead and make sure your camera one selected. Toggle that preset and boom, there it goes. Maybe we'll do one more preset. I'm actually gonna slow down the speed here. There we go. And just for fun, there is a wall. Wall, bust up, adjust our preset, or adjust our pan and tilt speed here, hit okay. And I'm gonna put it in home position. And you got, boom. And, and I set that one a little slower, so that's why it's pre the preset speeds go into that one a little slower. Um, so there you, there you have it for that camera. And we can adjust the same things on the VPDZ as well. Additionally, another awesome feature is you can adjust the zoom, the focus, and the iris straight from this preview window. So we're going to go over. A key thing to note for the preview image, it actually uses the substream of the RTSP stream. So that's why the image doesn't look like it's a high quality image because it's just using the uh, kind of a lower quality substream so you can easily move the camera and, uh, just for setting up the camera and uh, getting that perfect angle. Some of the key features in this preview window is you can, like I mentioned earlier, you can do the zoom. You have to just make sure you have to click the button on and also you can adjust the focus. So I'm going to adjust that right now and see how the camera goes out of focus. You can do some manual focusing there. And if you want to turn the autofocus back on, just click on the focus button. And it goes right back. And then you can also adjust the iris if you want to, if too much light's coming in, you can actually adjust it down. Just got to push it a couple times and there you go. If, uh, if it's too uh, bright in the room or if you want to adjust the iris, let more light in. There you go. Or if you like where it was, just un unclick it and it'll go back to its auto iris, auto exposure. All right, so go moving on, um, one key feature for our presets is also the favorites. So moving on, I'm just gonna add a, a preset to our VPDZ camera real quick here. Let's click on the zoom. We're gonna use this door. What a beautiful door. Go ahead and hit, hit this save button right here. And we'll call this door and we'll put our pan and tilt speed right in the middle there. Hit okay. And we'll put it in the home position. And there we go. Now that we got our preset for our VPDZ camera, I can show you the favorites feature. If you have a bunch of favorites preset that you go to a lot, you can actually for each preset, uh, click that star button. And then you go to the star button, um, star icon here at the top. And the which ones you starred actually are all in one window. And you just by double clicking them, you can operate both at the same time. Pretty cool feature. A couple additional features here on actually on the main control is you can actually control each camera with this joystick as well. Just select each camera and you can adjust that. You can actually do the zoom as well right there. And also each camera, if it's kind of dark, you can hit this button here for the backlighting and to, uh, to brighten it up a little bit if needed. Well, there you have it, Gearheads. As you can see, it's a really cool software, really easy to use, free to download straight from our website. You can use it on a Windows, a Mac, an iPhone, an iPad, and it's still in beta as we continue to add awesome additional features and functions. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach us, uh, reach out to us at Tech Support. We're here to support you. And also, don't, don't forget to always like and subscribe to videos like these to our uh, YouTube page to uh, be updated as we continue to add more videos like this. So have a great day. Thank you.